Question 22. Solve 2x squared plus 9x minus 7 equals 0, giving your solutions correct to three significant figures. Notice this says solutions. It's a hint. It's showing there's more than one potential answer. Now, while we could try and solve this using factorising, the easiest way, because we've got a multiple of x squared, is to use this formula, which is in your formula booklet. It's on the second page of every exam paper. It's called the quadratic equation. How do we know we need to use that? Well, it's a quadratic. It's got a power of 2. It's the highest power in an algebraic equation. So, just by plugging these values in and solving this, we can get our three marks very easily. So, a is what we times x by, so just write that down. a is equal to 2. b is what we times x by, so that's 9. And c is equal to the number at the end. Now, this is take away 7, so that means that's a minus 7. If that was a minus number, that would be negative also. Now, once we've done that, we just plug it into the equation. So, x is equal to minus b, so that's minus 9, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's 9 squared, take away 4 times a times c. Bear in mind that is going to be multiplied by a negative number, so you're taking away a negative there. And all of that is divided by 2 times a. It's quite a few calculation steps needed here, but now it's just a case of solving this. So leave it in this format for now until you've worked out what goes inside the square root. So 9 squared is 81, and we're going to take away 4 times 2 times minus 7, which gives us 137. All of that is divided by 4. So we're going to get two solutions here, because we're going to add or take away. So answer number 1 is when we have minus 9, add the square root of 137, divided by 4. And the other solution will be given when we take it away. So using a calculator, minus 9, add the square root of 137. I'm going to push the equals key here because we want to work out what the top is before we divide by 4. Gives us of 0 point. And we want this to three significant figures, so that's going to be 6, 7, 6. Let's make sure we've got my answer there. 0 point 6. Or, because we've got to have a second potential solution here, x equals negative 9, take away the square root of 137, divided by 4. So clear the calculator, negative 9, take away the square root of 137, pressing equals, We've got a negative number this time, divide it by 4, negative 5, now three significant figures, that's 1, two, three, rounding it up because the number afterwards is beyond five. So the other possible answer we could have had is negative 5.18.